Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlette, and let's talk about compressor divers. Up until now, Dan Henry's 1970 compressor diver has been the reigning king and predominant player in the budget compressor diver games. At $250, it's 20 Atmos rated 40 or 44 millimeter chassis housing and NH35 with its sapphire coated mineral crystal has gone unchallenged until now. At $285, the Spinnaker Bradner is looking to steal the crown as the next affordable compressor king. Can Spinnaker pull it off? Well, let's talk Bradner. Now, before I dive into this review, I want you guys to know that this watch is not currently available from Spinnaker's online store. It will be made available come July 20th. However, there will be an online campaign for this watch starting up between July 6th to the 19th, just before these are made available. And if you follow the link down below to sign up for the campaign, you'll receive a promo code for a discount on the watch from Spinnaker. However, you'll notice there is another link to their website down below offering my audience an additional 20% off their total purchase order from Spinnaker's site using the promo code TT20. Also, the really cool part about that promo code, if you've ever wanted to help the show directly and not via Patreon, you wanted something tangible that you can feel in your hands, if you use the promo code TT20, I will get a 10% commission on any sale off their website. So don't just stop at one watch, maybe five, maybe some accessories, buy everything from their website. Or buy nothing at all, I just want you to know that you are helping out the channel if you do intend to purchase this watch or any other item off their site. However, do finish this review before you make any buying decisions, okay? I see you guys hitting the button now, trying to help me out. It's appreciated, but please, please refrain. And if you're new to the channel, I like to start my reviews with the bad, moving on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item, so let's talk about the Spinnaker Bradner. Now the Spinnaker Bradner has a 42 millimeter diameter, which is just in between its competitor, the Dan Henry's 40 and 40 millimeter chassis with a 50 millimeter lug to lug distance, a 14 millimeter thickness and a 20 millimeter lug width. This watch features a stainless steel chassis with a sapphire crystal and a sapphire exhibition case back. Also, we can see the NH35 beating inside of it with a custom rotor. It has dual crowns, the two o'clock crown, roughly two o'clock crown, working the internal 60 minute elapsed counter, while the almost four o'clock crown works the time and date function. Now my first bad note actually came upon the arrival and unpacking of this watch, as there's just a little bit of overcast near the spinnaker sail on the crown. You'll notice that my crown came pre-scuffed. If you can see that, there is a little scuff next to the spinnaker sail on my crown. Is it the end of the world? No. But hopefully this doesn't reflect poorly on the rest of the models shipped out. You'd think that they'd want to send the reviewer the best copy they had, not the one that had a minor scuff on the crown. I'm sure it was just mishandling. Again, I hope none of you receive a model from them that is pre-scuffed. Now my next bad note is in regards to the Chevy Hour Hand. It shows an indication of where it might have been cut off a sprue, similarly to that of a model kit that is cut unclean. However these hands were accomplished, the tip of the Chevy Hour Hand has an uneven brushing at its edge. Let me put it this way. With any good show, you don't want to see the work. If this watch were an act, the hour hand is bringing down the rest of the performance. It's simply something you can't unnotice. And now every time I look at this dial, I'll notice that on the hour hand. And it's a shame because it's a flaw on what is an otherwise flawless dial. Now the loom on this watch is really nothing to write home about. I know some of you are going to argue that it's a shallow water diver or that it's a sub $300 diver, but that's no excuse for poor luminance. This isn't a problem in day-to-day -day use, but I can imagine this being problematic late night. Now aside from a few cosmetic complaints and issues with our accessory options, as I generally dislike leather straps, on dive watches, I'm actually really enjoying this watch. The secondary crown, which rotates the 60 minute elapsed timer on the inside, keeps that triangle perfectly aligned at the 12 o'clock position, despite not being screwed down 
or locked in place with any other mechanism. How, you might ask? Good design. Maybe take some pointers, Seiko Alpinist. So if you're crazy like I am about having that triangle at the 12, you shouldn't have to worry about it here. The case is robust and well executed, and I'm used to seeing straight lugs on most vintage or heritage style compressor divers, namely the Dan Henry again, but this is a modernized take on the style, and I quite like that. I love the diversity of brush strokes on the side and how they capture light at different angles. It's just a very good aesthetic, and the case itself is machined very well, particularly at its price point. Now the use of leather here is starting to wear on me, pun intended. I usually hate this look and people who do this look, but ever since my C Ward and now the Spinnaker, I'm starting to understand the allure. Also the color pairing options of these leather straps with the dial face options are very attractive. I get it. I see why people put leather on divers. I won't thoroughly understand it, but I do like the aesthetic here. The hour markers on this watch are extremely pronounced and darn near four dimensional on the dial. They project so far off the dial as if they're trying to remove themselves from its surface. I just love the dimensionality of this dial face from the sunray finished dial to the internal bezel. It's all just very lovely. Now, I really like this watch, and that's not just because I stand to make money off you suckers when you use the promo code TT20 at checkout, but solely because it's a decent watch. Now, I've heard of Spinnaker, but I've never given them a look till this arrived at my door. Previously, Dan Henry has been the go-to compressor diver, but this is really giving it a run for its money. At nearly the same price with better materials used and a more original case design, you know, the nearest thing I can liken this to is maybe some older Bulevas or Orion King divers, this piece takes the crown as the new go-to affordable compressor king. And on that note, go ahead, sign up for the campaign, buy five of these, you know you want to, or buy just one or none, truth be told, this is a really good dive watch and I've been looking at compressor divers for some time. I've been considering buying some vintage ones, perhaps getting one of those Dan Henry's I mentioned in this video, though I've heard a lot of reports saying that it hasn't held up too well in day-to-day -day use. Of course, I would like to personally verify that, but this right now has been an excellent alternative and has satiated my need for a compressor watch. The super compressor style is here to stay, and I'm so happy to see more brands producing affordable compressor diver cases. Now, gang, if you found this video enlightening or in the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a little something like this. If you have friends, forums, or groups that are interested in picking up a compressor diver, perhaps a vintage one, perhaps a modern one, share this video with them first to get another consumer's take on the new Bradner from Spinnaker. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week. So if you want to see more watch content like this, hit the subscribe button. It'll let me know you are down for the show. And if you'd like to see my videos precisely when they air, you can hit the bell icon just next to that. Again, the promo code is TT20. You want to buy five Bradners, 10 Bradners, 20 Bradners, perhaps 40 Bradners. My name is Patrick Marlette and thank you for the time.